Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking, and tonight we'll go on this go to look experiment with the recovery of the flyback spike. Always almost the same system, just a small difference now in the circuits. Always the positive, the red, the main coil to negative. In front of the main coil, we not put the rotor now, but a hanging magnet. I will show you after. And for the rest, recovery through a, a, a diode and then a high voltage coil here, which will drive in the rotor and the capacitor. Okay. As you can see here, we, we have the rotor and we have no more the main coil here, but the main coil is now here. It is a uh, uh, y, it is I core. Okay. And here is the hanging magnet. Magnet is simply hanging inside here. Okay. For all the rest, uh, with the diode here, the second uh, the assistant coil, the capacitor, something different now because everything changed each time we change something here. Okay, and the aim of tonight is to see what happened in the system, mm, something deeper. And as we have not this coil driving the rotor, it will drive this magnet for nothing, just for fun. Okay. And the idea is to see if when this coil, the main coil, is not driving the rotor, and if it make some work on this magnet, if I put away this main coil, if there is more current draw when it is moving this or not. And the aim is to see if the magnetic field, which is produced by the current of my power supply here, once the magnetic field is mounted, it is finished, okay, it is okay, if we use it, if we draw more current or not. And the idea is, is the magnetic field, once it is made, a free lunch for this here? That is to say that for the rest, if we can, then when the magnetic collapse, if it is the case, it goes back here through this assistant coil. If perhaps we have to work a lot of recuperating the uh, magnetic field here to go back here. So this assistant coil becomes the main coil and this main coil, old main coil, we now can be used for making other free lunch work. Hmm. I'm not sure that you understood. Okay, I show you. Okay, let's go. We'll put the power on now. Okay. Okay, you see, the magnet, magnet is strongly attracted during the time that the assistant coil is now spinning the rotor. Okay, we have now here about six volt, uh, 7 volt, 0 0.14, so it is very difficult. This is why I've put here a second analogics, it is more stable. Okay, you see on the scope here, always the same, makes something larger now, a strong flyback spike, some ringing after, okay. Now, the rotor is spinning, we let it uh, stabilize, it is the case now. We have, we have now the magnet, which is uh, attracted by the main coil, you see, okay, you see the slight movement of attraction. And now I will put away the coil, so the magnet will hang down here and to see if it draw more current or not or less current perhaps okay we have 120 it is very difficult a mean of 115 16 okay now i put away the coil took very far away you see here it is not so less always 115 120 difficult to say Okay, 
I put the coil back here to attract, okay, and always about 115, 16. So it seems that when this coil is attracting the magnets, it doesn't use more currents. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? I'm not sure it is very important, but uh, it seems to me that. Uh, we have to play with all this system to check if we can uh, recover the flyback spike here to put this inside here, use more this system to drive the rotor less this one or the contrary mm -hmm. a lot of possibility okay, just for uh, your idea just another time we'll make here with the analogic that you see more, better okay now we have the coil on, I put away the coil, nothing moves, fantastic isn't it? I put back the coil, no movement, so no more current when the main coil is attracting or not. So, perhaps, when once the magnetic field is uh, produced in the coil, then the work the magnetic field is doing doesn't take more current. Hmm. Okay, thanks for watching. Good night at all.